I am just a freaking mess this afternoon. First I get lost, attempting to take a detour, which was not a detour at all. And then I just exited here because I wanted to get some food and then realized I can't get back on 10 because I got to go over the freaking bridge. There's no other way to do this. I'm like, I, I, am, I don't know where my head's at right now, but I know it's a lot to do with a lack of sleep and I just do not function well at all. So this morning, I thought I could be the smart one and be like, all right, I'm just gonna power through and make sure my bag doesn't fall off here. I'm just gonna power through and get to Florida by like four o'clock in the afternoon. I could totally do it. I should have known better. I should have known better. I got so tired in between that four and six in the morning mark that I pushed myself back four hours. Four hours. I should have just bought a room, slept for two hours, got up and go. Like, that's what I should have done, but no. I had to stop every 20 minutes because I just could not function. This bridge is cool. I, I just, I couldn't function. I couldn't do what I needed to do. This is caca as shit, isn't it? So now my whole schedule is pushed back five hours now and I haven't even stopped for breakfast yet. It is 10 o'clock. I'm going to be late to drop off Eagle Rider. Hopefully they're going to let me just deposit it because I have a flight leaving in the morning before they even open up on Sunday. So I, it's, it's just been a shit storm. morning and this afternoon and it's, it's not putting my birthday off very well. It started off good at midnight with the two guys that I met. Um, I guess they're booze fighters motorcycle club or something. I don't know. They were doing a bun burner pretty much like on the same route that I was taking. So I tagged along with them for about 200 miles which was super nice to have a little bit of a distraction, to break up what I was used to doing. I was, it was very much needed to get me through that really early morning part. So from like 12 p.m. until 3 a.m. But then after 3 a.m. I was on my own and I did okay for about an hour and then things went south. Any music I played, any podcast, any radio that I listened to, everything just instantly made me doze off. I slept in my first iron butt motel, which is pretty much the tank of the bag, and I just set my head down, which was kind of nice because it stretched out my neck a little bit, because I am so scrunched underneath this windshield just to get that like level of where I need to be. Like I need a taller windscreen if I were to ever have this bike, which after the last 2,267 miles. This is not a bike I want to own. <laughs> Lesson learned. But there's so much to just the this bike that it's just not it's not made for me at all. I can see how it's made for touring and all of that, but it has to fit you well and I would take the Pan America back in a heartbeat over this bike. Which I know might be crazy weird to say to somebody's ears other than mine. <laughs> but I don't know. I My body fit like a glove with the Pan Am. I need to get something to eat so I calm down. I think I'm hangry and overtired. And I need to call Eagle Rider to let them know 
this morning already what I need to do. But by tomorrow, or by tomorrow, by tonight, tonight, I should be in Florida on the beach. Your fucking birthday to me. So I cannot <laughs> apparently drop off my bike at Eagle Rider after hours because I don't get to Jacksonville until at least 9 o'clock, maybe even 10 o'clock tonight by the time I'm getting done with all my stops here. I was originally scheduled for 5 o'clock, but that's not going to happen. And they don't open up until 11 a.m. tomorrow. My flight leaves at 8.15. The lady on the phone was not very helpful at all. So I am... I'm stuck. American Airlines has a four hour wait for even just to get back to me to even consider doing a different time, which is fine, I guess. Like, my husband and my kids are gonna have to see me probably on Monday then. I don't know how much I have to pay extra for all of this. This is not the best birthday. I know I should just keep moving because it's taking me even longer. <sighs> but damn, this sucks. Made it to Florida, but I have a whole another five hours of Florida left before I hit the coast. And I am starting to feel very fatigued, very tired, very dehydrated, the whole mix, and it's not a good mixture once the sun goes down, so I think and my planning right now I will be at the coast at around 11 o'clock so hope it goes well for the rest of the five hours I've got left on highway 10 <laughs> interstate 10 same thing sunset on the other side of the country even though I'm not quite on the ocean pretty dang close only five hours away. 333 miles away. And it's gonna get cold very shortly here. I'm already feeling it. I'm shaking, but I think it's because I'm dehydrated from going for so long. It sucks. Oh, it really sucks. So I finished. I haven't done the numbers because I am so so cold right now I'm shaking I'm gonna go ahead to the beach and get my water and sand sample and then head to the hotel and do all the math after I take a long hot shower and everything else like that so I will see you guys in a few and I'll celebrate then you can see my breath in Florida how is this possible right now Good morning. Oh man, look at me. <laughs> oh, I need to tackle. This is all the clothes I was wearing yesterday. But I need to tackle getting everything packed up on the bike so I can return it to Eagle Rider this morning and then hop on my plane home. But yesterday I came here and was just so utterly exhausted that I took a hot shower, laid in bed, and I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I was, I was done. So there was no recording on my part at all. And even this morning, it's, I am very, very sore. That bike and I, I don't, we're just not made for each other, I feel like. I, when I, I don't have the same feeling as what I did when I went and took the 48 and 10 on the Pan Am. Like I, that bike fit me very well, which is surprising. This Yamaha FGR is just, just not for me. <laughs> I can see how it'll work for some individuals, but for me it just doesn't personally work. I'm sure there would be a lot of updates and things I'd have to do to it to make it fit me, but it's not worth it in my opinion. I would jump back on that Pan Am and do a coast to coast in a heartbeat for sure. Um, but lesson learned, I'm glad I did it. It's one of the bikes that I can cross off my list that is definitely not my long distance bike that I want to pursue, which is good. <laughs> I wish I was celebrating a little bit more, but this ride kicked my butt 
in more ways than what I imagined. I knew it was going to be difficult, but I didn't think to what extent. And I've learned a lot of lessons and things that uh, I have to take into consideration when I'm doing a whenever I do the long distance endurance ride rally rides there's a lot of tweaking that I need to do and I need to find that perfect bike because right now I am just completely lost on where to start <laughs> for finding a bike so ugh, okay I need to get the motivation to get up eat breakfast and do what I need to do for the bike and get it to eco rider then I'll work on the rest of it so see you guys in a bit <laughs> <sighs> But overall, I knew this challenge was gonna be just that, a challenge. And it really test, like tested every single facet of what I'm capable of doing. Exhaustion, soreness, those are pretty much the two big things. <laughs> I am just so, mentally drained right now I'm I'm done and could sleep for probably about another 12 hours and that's what I plan on doing on the flights home is sleep on my way back to Wisconsin so long Yamaha FJR I am not sure if I'm gonna see you again <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you but yeah if you guys want to see more of my moto adventures i appreciate you following along for this one this was definitely i felt like the complete opposite of the 48 and 10 so not my funnest ride but definitely the most challenging so far i'm glad i did it but yeah we'll see you guys in the next one